Good morning. It's pretty early this morning. I like to come into my lab in the morning and uh, check on my time lapses. If I have one going. Um, what we're gonna do today is continue our electroporation work. And to do that, we're going to need to take out a stab of DH5-alpha that I made some time ago. This is actually marked 12 weeks, but it's been about 15 weeks since I made this stab. And to, uh, to give it a little bit of chance to recover, I'm gonna place it into the incubator for a couple of hours. Hopefully those cells will recover. And then once that has done its thing, we'll pull out a plate and streak it. One of the plates that I made yesterday, which we can come and check on now. I need to bag them up. They've kind of been sitting here. These are the MEAs and those are the LVs. And um, yeah, we'll see if that 15 week old stab of E. coli is able to be revived back to life. It's been in their fridge the, the pretty much the entire time. So uh, I'll check back with you in a couple of hours. All right, it's been a couple of hours. So I'm gonna take out the stab and let's bring this over to the lab here. Spray some alcohol on my hands to sterilize it. I'm also going to, I've already wiped all of this down, but I'll do it again just to be safe. Here's the stab here. Basically this is just agar. And then I took another plate that had a colony of bacteria growing on it. And I took uh, this, I can't remember the name of it, but I shoved it. I took a piece of colony and I just kind of shoved it right down into the tube. It's kind of hard to see here, but there is a, there is, there we go. You can kind of see that little line right, going right through the middle. And so there should be like a bunch of cells in the, in that area where the, uh, where the stab occurred. And uh, hopefully some are still viable and living. So we'll see. And I do reuse these, these loops with these little colony picker ends on them. As long as you wipe them down thoroughly with some isopropyl alcohol, it should be just fine. And I'm just gonna put the tube, or put the, uh, whatever this thing is called that I can't think of right now, I'm gonna put it right down in the middle where it originally went and give it a little bit of a turn. Try to pick up some cells. And that should be all that I need. So just do a little bit of a streaking there and then I turn. I'm turning the, the picker in my hand. And I'm just, there we go. And I'll sterilize this again. Now, I'll move the tripod here. Now I can take this and put this back into the fridge and I can put the plate into the incubator. So we'll let that plate incubate. Uh, we'll let that plate incubate for probably overnight till we see anything. And then tomorrow we'll actually be able to create a liquid culture, maybe tonight. I'll come back and check on it and see, but we can maybe create a liquid culture because um, our goal, remember, is to create a lawn on a plate that we can use for our electroporation experiments. So check back in with you once I have an update.
Okay, it's day two, I, or day three rather. Obviously, I did not post a video yesterday. I got a little bit busy with doing some bioprospecting, which I will share hopefully in the next couple of days. But if you remember, we did a, a streak of this plate uh, from a stab that was probably 15 weeks old. And I left it overnight, so see if we can get some colonies growing out of it and uh, proceed to the next step of the paper here, which if you'll remember for electroporation, we're trying to create a lawn. So what I need to do is check and make sure that, that col the E. coli is growing on the plate. If there's a colony, I'm gonna use that to inoculate some liquid culture, which we'll place on a plate tomorrow morning. And we may be able to run our first electroporation experiment tomorrow afternoon. So let's check on it. I can tell you usually if it's gonna work right away because I'll get a, a wave of, of, E. coli has a very particular smell. Yep, I smell, I smell E. coli. Wow, look at that, look at that. Wow, okay. So first of all, you can store an E. coli stab for 15 or greater weeks and it will survive. So that's like over three months. And look at all of those colonies that are growing. This is the DH5 alpha. So I'm gonna bring that over into the lab here. And the next step is I'm gonna take one of these colonies. I don't know if you can see these little individual colonies here. I'm gonna take one of those and I'm going to use the tip of this colony picker. If you guys know what the name of this thing is, uh, do they just call this a loop? I don't know, tell me in the comments if you know what it is. And I've already prepared uh, some LB broth. Now these have already been autoclaved and prepared. I make these in batches uh, ahead of time and just leave them at room temperature. They last for quite a while. As long as they're pretty clear, I know nothing's growing in them. So what I'll do is go ahead and pick a colony from the plate use that to inoculate some liquid culture, and then I'll leave that overnight. And then tomorrow morning, we'll take a probably, I don't know how much volume, maybe 100 microliters, spread that onto one of the LB plates that I made, and then that will grow a lawn of the same, like a, the, same, um, the same colony. We'll grow a lawn on there, and then we'll scrape some of that off and we will wash it probably once with some uh, DDH2O, which I already have here. So this is sterile water. And you don't need a lot because we're gonna be dealing with pretty small aliquots. Um, and then we'll be able to shock it. So let me get the camera set up on the tripod here and I'll show you how I pick that colony off and use that to start the liquid culture. All right, I like to just wipe everything down with some isopropyl alcohol, set my plate there. And of course, I'm gonna sterilize this colony picker here. I noticed from watching my videos that I, I tend to do this smacking like, so sorry about that. I think that's kind of annoying. I need to be more mindful of that. All right, so actually, before we proceed, always a good idea to label. So this is gonna be the DH5 alpha strain of E. coli, and today is September 1st. And so this will be, this will be what we used to uh, create our seed culture that we can put on our plate tomorrow. See, there it goes smacking again. <laughs> All right, so we wanna just try to find one of these colonies. So I try to find one that's like already growing pretty well. 
So there's one right here that you can see that's pretty relatively big. There's some over here that we could use too. I'm gonna try to use that one right there. So let's do that. So I just lifted that colony up. Now I'm going to Shake, shake, shake. Get some of those cells in here. That should be good. Close this up, give it a little bit of shake. And then what I'll do now, take this off the tripod, is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it into the incubator, but I am going to lightly loosen the cap. That way the uh, E. coli as it grows can get a little bit of air. If you don't do that, what I found is like, it actually creates a suction because it tries to use up the air and when you open it, you can hear it go tss. So I just loosen it up a little bit, not too much so that it would risk falling. And then I lean it up against the edge you can kind of see where I've leaked some stuff before. This has all been cleaned, so there's nothing to be worried about in terms of contamination. But, uh, so yeah, I'll leave that there overnight. I'll probably also go ahead and put the plate back in there and just let that continue to grow out. So in case I want to pull, pull some more colonies, I can do that. And, um, that's really it. So we'll let that grow overnight. And then tomorrow morning, I'll take another plate and I will sp spread some of this liquid culture over it and let it grow for about four to six hours. And then we can scrape some of that off and hopefully be able to uh, do some electroporation experiments. So yeah. Oh, the other thing is, so this is going to be left overnight, but what I'll probably do is like maybe once or twice between now and tomorrow morning is I'll come and, and just check on it, uh, make sure that it's growing and I'll probably tighten the cap and turn it upside down and just give it a little mix and make sure that it's getting air and that's it. So I will check back in with you tomorrow. See ya.